Hello everyone, myself Sabri and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one-stop solution for all your power platform tutorials. Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to understand how we can leverage the Power Automate visual in Power BI to create a button-like experience and use that to trigger a Power Automate flow directly from Power BI service. Here, the use case what I have taken is a simple table with two filters. Whenever a filter is applied and if the user clicks on this button, the filtered data available in this table will be exported and sent as an email with the attachment to the logged in user. To achieve that, first we need to understand the logic behind this table. So first I'll explain you how to extract the DAX query behind this visual. To achieve that, I would like to use the performance analyzer, which is available in the view tab. So go to the view and click on performance analyzer. You will see a small tab opened called performance analyzer and you have a button called start recording click start recording and do refresh visual so all the visual in your page gets refreshed and you will get the dax query associated with that visual so i would like to use the dax query associated with this table so i have expanded the table and clicked on copy query so this will copy the dax query behind this let me take you to the dax query view and paste the code whatever we have copied and let me hit on run so you could see that the table, whatever you have seen on the visualization page, the report view is available here. So this is the DAX query by which we will be able to extract the table. And if you see here in the DAX query, it says it exports only the top 501 rows. So this can be changed accordingly so that you will be able to get the complete data available in your table. But here, if you notice, we do not have any additional filters applied. So let me go back to the report view apply a filter in the country for canada and france and i apply a filter for a product and then let me clear the data in the performance analyzer refresh the visual again go to the table and let me copy the dax query go back to the dax query view and paste it now if you scroll up you have two variables one is for country and one is for product defined and this variables are used inside this dax query to extract the data now, if you see here, the financial country is only Canada and France and the product is Passio. And if you notice here, the selected country is added inside a double quote and split by a comma. So we need to make sure that we create this as a measure and pass it to the flow so that whenever a user selected this value, these kind of format, that is the country, selected country is added inside a double quotes and separated by comma is created. And then flow uses it as a dynamic content to extract the data so let me go to the table financials and start creating a new measure and i would like to call the measure as selected country i would like to use a function called concordinate x the first parameter for concordinate x is a table so i would like to use the values function and the values what i'm going to take is the financials of country that's the column so let me copy it close the value and the expression is nothing but the country what i need to be pasted and i would like to add a delimiter which is comma so here we have not added the double quotes yet first let me make sure that this is working so let me click on apply and i would like to add a simple card visual and then drag the selected country to the card to see what we are getting you can see canada and france let's say if you select germany yes you could see canada germany and france is being shown one additional thing what we would like to have here is that double quotes so let me go to the measure so to add the double quotes we need to add double quotes four times because double quote is rendered used to render a text so double quotes followed by ambrosian and then at the end again it's an ambrosian followed by four times double quotes so it creates double quotes in front and end of the country if you click on apply now you see canada is wrapped inside a double quote comma germany wrapped inside a double quote with the france so the same logic we need to make sure we create it for the product as well so let me go back to the financials again create a new measure call it as selected product and I would like to change all these things to product and let me click on okay 
now let me remove this selected country and add selected product to make sure everything is perfect so whenever i click two values you see Passio and Amarilla and if you uncheck everything you will be able to see all the list inside a double quotes so with this two measure we will be start creating the flow let me delete this let me clear and close the performance analyzer because we don't need that for now i would like to go to the dax query view copy the dax query whatever we have created because we need to use it inside the flow what we are going to create so i would like to add the power automate visual drag this and keep it on this corner and add the two measures what i have created that is the selected country and selected product so once you have added all the required measures to this flow you need to select the environment where your flow needs to live so i would like to select the environment a different one so whenever your environment is selected you can click this more options and you can click on edit so this will automatically open the power automate page of that environment if you have any existing flows that is an instant flow then you will be able to see it here since i don't have any instant flow i'm not seeing any so i would like to go and create a new instant flow and i would like to call that as power bi button click so let me call it as power bi button click whenever this button is clicked i would like to run a query against the data set so i would like to call the power bi connector and in the power bi connector i would like to call the action run a query so against the data set so the workspace what i have used here is fabric enabled my data set which is called as sales data is previously published without this measure value in the fabric enabled so i would like to use the fabric enabled and sales data and i will pass on the query what i have copied you are aware that this needs to be a dynamic content so let me remove this scroll down go to the dynamic content and say power bi selected country now for each of the power bi data this power bi selected country will be applied here and similarly i would like to have the power bi product as well so this will be running in a single loop so whenever this query ran i would like to create a csv table out of it so let me type in csv call the connector data operations and use the action create a csv table and here you can get the dynamic content that is run a query against the data set and use the dynamic content first table rows so this will create a csv table and i would like to use the csv table to send an email so send an email connector and then for the two i will use the dynamic content that gets auto generated from when a power bi button is clicked that is the user email who clicked this button and i call this as sales data export and here i will say just please find attached and in the additional options i would like to add the attachment sales export dot csv and in the attachment content i will just call in the output of the csv once then you can click on save and you can say save and apply so that whatever you have created here will be applied to this button successfully so whenever it is done you will be able to click on go back to the report so immediately after coming back to the report you see this button got auto created which is called as run flow as i said already i need to republish this file because we have two additional measures created so let me publish i would like to save the file publish and i'll publish it to the same workspace what i have previously used which is fabric enabled it is asking me to replace yes now this is published successfully so you can even try to trigger the data directly from the power bi desktop or even you can go to the service to trigger it so i would like to trigger it directly from the desktop so let me hold on the control and click this button you see something called triggering which means it started the flow and when it is completed it says it's triggered so now we need to go back to the power automate let me refresh so let me refresh my uh, environment this is the flow what we have created so let me go in i could see the flow was triggered 18 seconds ago and it is succeeded and i can see already an email is received you see it is sales export sales export please find attach if i open it in the preview mode 
I could see the data for Canada and France, Germany. So there are three countries which is available here. So let me go back to my Power BI to make sure I have selected only three countries. Yes. So let me clear this. So I would like to select Canada and I would like to select the product as VTT. And now if you click this flow, I need to get the data only for Canada and VTT. So it says it's triggered. So let me go back to my Outlook, check if I have a new email. Yes, I have a new email. Let me open this and see if I have only data for Canada and VTT. There you go. By this, we come to the end of this video. In this video, we understand how to extract a Power BI DAX query behind any of the Power BI visual and also how to create a Power Automate flow button inside a Power BI desktop and use it to trigger a flow. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment section and we will be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon for our new video alerts.